Hello everybody, I'm Rusty. I want to welcome you to Island Breeze Tropicals. So today we're going to have another episode of Bromeliad Anatomy and we're going to be looking at why bromeliads have teeth. It's called arming and take a look at those spines. So okay guys, uh, as usual I don't have a lot of plants here at the Tangle uh, after the hurricane had hit and we're going to be taking another tour uh, at Sundance Orchids and Bromeliads in Fort Myers, Florida. A disclaimer, I don't get paid anything by Sundance Orchids to do this. They are not a paid sponsor of the channel. They however are very very kind and allow you and I to go there and take a look at some really cool plants. So. Why don't we go take a tour at Sundance Orchids? Come on, let's have some fun. Well, why don't we start out by looking at some bromeliads that do not have arming on them. Uh, Vrishia is a genus that is uh, free of spines on the leaves. As you can see, that is really quite smooth. And this is a Vrishia cuperiana. And let's go down here and you can see that there are no spines at all. There is no arming. And the same is true for the members in the genus Alcantaria. We've had a bromeliad family tree video that you might want to take a look at of that genus and as you can see let's get on down here take a look and you can see that there aren't any spines on these leaves even on the end let's take a look at that right there and you can see that these leaves are very very friendly now why do some bromeliads have spines on the leaves well, here's my guess. Genetically, they evolved spines because their ancestors were being predated, were being eaten by herbivores. And the plants that had spines on them, that had leaf arming, would at least have, if some damage, no damage to the meristem of the plant. And that's what's down there where the leaves and roots come out of. And so it evolved spines in order to uh, stop that kind of predation. This is an Echmia bracteata, probably one of the spinier ones that you can find. And I like it. Take a look at the spines on this. So I want to apologize about the glare today. Um, the clouds have departed. I thought it was going to be perfect lighting for this. But you know, actually this is really what I want because I want you to look at this shadow and I'm going to try and zoom on in there. Now that's a shadow that's on the leaf and take a look at the shadow of the spines that are on the leaf. So this is Bracteata again, and take a look at the architecture on this plant and imagine an herbivore trying to eat this plant, and that's what herbivores are supposed to do, they eat plants, and it might get some of the leaf tips eaten, but I think if you take a look at those spines that are on the leaf edges, you can see that that would be quite a deterrent to an herbivore trying to eat the rest of this plant and it's right down here that needs to be protected that's where the meristem is and that is the growing point of the plant and that's what this plant is trying to protect with that leaf arming now the arming on leaves uh, is variable and you just never know what genus it's going to be on this is a Neoregilia called Carcaridon Rainbow. And I'm going to zoom on in here and see if you can look at these spines and take a look. 
Yep, it's pretty toothy, wouldn't you say? Now, Carcharodon is also the name of the genus of the great white shark. And I think probably there's a reason that the two have that same nomenclature. Just take a look at those spines. By the way, I love the color on this. What do you think? Now, this is a Cruenta uh, hybrid. I think it's crossed with Concentrica. And if you take a look, this is pretty spiny too. This is another Neoregilia. So arming is not necessarily only on the edge of the leaves. If you take a look, this is Andrelepis dean. That means that it is a bigeneric. We're going to have a video on that probably in another couple weeks. But take a look. Doesn't look all that bad, does it? Ah, uh, but wait a minute. I'm going to show you where it can be quite mean. So this is Dean again. And take a look at the tip of that leaf. I can tell you from experience, if you rub up against that, that does not give. So for some bromeliads, they have adapted uh, themselves to having a deterrent uh, right at the end of the leaf. And that helps the plant more when it's very, very young and stops herbivores from eating it before it gets some size to it. This is another Neoregilia that has quite a bit of arming. Uh, this used to just be called Tiger. Now it's called Scotax Tiger. And if you take a look, you can see it's got some beautiful color too. But look at those spines on the leaf. And I think you can see how it would be difficult for an herbivore to start munching on this thing and not uh, get some lacerations um, on its lips and on its tongue. Uh, I think that that would be a great deterrent and that's what those spines are for. Now this is another plant that also has very, very sharp points on its leaves. This is called Echmia haltonii. It's a species. And I'm going to try and get down there without showing my shoes and take a look at those spines on it. So take a look. I'm going to point right there. See that end on the leaf? See if I can get it contrasted. There we go. That does not give. I'll tell you what, if any kind of herbivore, <laughs> even human who wants to get in there and trim it, uh, they're, if they're not wearing gloves, they're going to have a hard time. And so you can see uh, these spines on the Haltonii are really, really formidable. And every leaf, big or small, is ready to protect this plant. This is another example of how just leaf stiffness uh, can benefit the plant. This is Andrelepis paradise. And if you take a look, you can see that the points on this, just like the Dean and the Haltonii, are very, very sharp. But here's something else that really helps this plant. I'm going to try and get back a little bit. And it's hard to see it, but all of these leaves are very, very stiff. So if an herbivore tries to get in there, they're not going to bend. See if I can put my hand down here and show you. See, watch. That's not bending. Watch it. See how stiff it is? So this is not going to bend. And if an herbivore tries to get in there to eat the leaves and get down into that growing point, down to the meristem, I think they're going to be really disappointed. So anyway, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed looking at this episode of Bromeliad Anatomy. So how about you? 
Do you like bromeliads that are spiny? Or do you like bromeliads that are smooth on their leaves? Comment down below. Let's see what you think. So, no matter where you are, I hope your sun is shining. I hope you have an island breeze blowing. I know that you need to keep growing. Have lots of fun. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time.